Okay. Okay. I think we're good now. How's the camera angle? Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi. Welcome, everybody, to Zero Page Homebrew live stream. It is. We're going to be playing some Atari 2600 games today. We are. On a real Atari 2600. That's right there! It's been upgraded to RGB. Oh, it's very, very special. I was there. Yes, he helped me out. Yeah. He did most of the work, actually. <laughs> I couldn't even remember whether I just filmed it or did the You're tall. stuff. Very Why can only this much of my face be shown? <laughs> I need to show more. More of the face. No, you have to do more, otherwise it looks like I have lost a lot of hair on top. There. Let's get all the hair in. There we go. Oh, that's better. Oh, the beautiful hair. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a very special day for you and you. It's uh, homebrew games, not, even, not just homebrew games, which we always play. But they're work in progress. Oh, Homebrew that's games. Very exciting. They're not out. We don't have cartridges for them. Um, we don't have anything for them because they're not out yet. But these, I believe. Wait, what do we do when we have to read the rules? I have rules for one. Oh, that's exciting. I think I have one because I don't. I couldn't find rules for the other ones posted. I mean, people have figured them out and they've been pieced together as they've been talking about them on the forums. But nothing printed up, so we're kind of screwed <laughs> in terms of of instructions. But uh, we'll make do like we always do. And I have played all except for one of these games. Um, you wonder why he always <laughs> beats me. Unless He's it's on the hard level. No practice <laughs> at all. Zero. Zero practice. But you usually beat me when it's on the hard level. Oh, that was last fun. week. <laughs> Usually that, no, <laughs> and once. So let's switch over to the games. Uh, and the first one When up, we all look this way, it's because we're looking over. It's a computer over there. <laughs> it's over there, not up here. That's why you get to see this profile so much. Beautiful. Is that your good side? I don't know, it's the side it you see, be. so <laughs> it's good enough side. So, the first one today is Aardvark, and uh, let me just bring up my information about Aardvark here. <clears throat> and I was trying to demo it on my systems, and the newest version is 0.9, um, but 0.9 doesn't work. <laughs> I have to somehow have on this. Here. Oh, okay. Point, uh, version point 0.9 doesn't seem to work on my setup. It seems to just totally glitch everything out. Point 0.8 doesn't. So unfortunately this is not the newest version because it's unplayable on the setup I have. So there we go. And this one is made by Oscar Deli Tolito Guterres. Uh, who is Nano Chess on Atari Age? Okay. Do you want to go first? It is traditional that I <laughs> blunder my way so through first. So let me reset. Uh, is there a reset? Oh, yeah. there's no reset. Okay. Doesn't seem to be a reset. Oh! That. Now. Is death. Now I. I, I believe. You control the tongue. Yes. Control the tongue. Oh! That worm just came out of nowhere. I'm going to call it a worm. Yep. Yeah. There's worms. There's ants. There's flashing ants. There's little dots. Sadly, the control in point eight is not as good as in point nine. And the graphics aren't quite as good. I don't know how I defend myself from the worm. You just don't touch it with the tip of your tongue. Oh, oh, oh it disappeared, so you're fine. But you do have to eat the ants, or you will die. Don't let the ants touch your tongue. So the worm can touch my tongue, but not the tip. Yes. But the ants can touch the tip, but not the tongue. I think the worms can't touch the tip from behind. If they touch it out the front, you're dead. 
Oh, and also the button retracts the tongue very fast. So that if an ant like that comes to the top, um, you gotta go zoop. Which button? Uh, the middle one. Eyes. It's right now. There but you go. How do you get it? Oh, I see. Yeah, you just started going again. Ants! So probably a good tactic is to not put the tongue down the side ones because you don't have enough time. No! No! Nope. I knew that the tongue needed <laughs> not be standing still, but I, 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 I'm out of excuses. I'm just... <laughs> oh. Oh. What do you do with that combo? I don't know, and that combo seems to come up a lot. Yeah, because you have to eat the ants, but you can't eat the worms. Yeah. Hmm. Deadly combo. I don't know how to... You have to position it just right. I know, but how, how do you do that? Uh... Oh, that's... There you go. Now you've figured out how to defeat that combo. The ant is barely in front. Oh, but then an ant showed up <laughs> at random. Maybe I... Can you withdraw your tongue after the... At any time, as long but as you I haven't mean... died. No! <laughs> and... So it's a little bit like Pac-Man in terms that you have to eat all the dots and also those flashing ants at the bottom act like power pellets. Ah. So if you get one of those, I believe you're immune for a little while. Um, yeah, the controls ah! <laughs> going down aren't as easy in this version as they are in point nine. He refined them a bit. Um, but point nine causes screen roll, unfortunately, on my system. No! With this combo. Uh, before this, I only played it through an emulator on my computer, so I didn't know th notice any screen roll, but... So, I don't know if he needs to look into that, or if it's my specific setup. Because point eight doesn't cause it. So, I'm thinking he put something in the programming that causes problems. I don't know how many lives... I don't think he implemented lives here yet. Oh, so I'm just going to keep... <laughs> keep I'm going. going to get high score. Did it reset, uh, though, the, the score, the board yet? Or is it still staying all the top ones eaten? I believe this... No, I... Yeah, yeah. Stays I was just going to lie to you, and then I thought, <laughs> wait a minute, this is not the time for, li for nonsense lies. Because there's video proof. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that we will review later. Hey, hey, if the president doesn't need to worry about... Video uh, proof. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. No. Uh. I don't like that. That no. seems like. It seems like an error. It does. Maybe he got rid of that. Like it happens a lot on the top. And in the new version, he's got the sun going across as well. It's very nice. And the paths down are just open instead of the those blocks. But the damn screen roll! So this is actually modeled after um, an arcade game. Get it! Get it! Get it! Get... Oh. The tongue does not come back that quick. <laughs> not as quick as you'd hoped. I think it needs to come back quicker. Otherwise, it's hard, and I like easy. Oh, good. We're still synced up. It comes back pretty quick. Not fast enough when you're at the <laughs> bottom. Yeah. To get back right to the top when an ant's coming. Yeah, like ah, that was pretty quick. Yeah, it was pretty quick that time. It's making me feel like a liar. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is, it's not fast enough for me. Yes. So let's see some info about Aardvark. It actually wasn't called Aardvark in the arcade. I believe it was called Anteater. Oh! 
What'd you get? If what you draw your tongue back, yes. when the green thing is there, you get points for it. Oh, maybe if it hits the back of your tongue, you, you can kill it. Oh, now that's a combo. There you go. <laughs> is it, you think it's just withdrawing it? Like hitting it from yeah. behind? So Anteater uh, was released in 1982 by Tago Electronics, and it was not a hit. <laughs> but it spawned a number of direct clones for com home computers, some of which became better known than the original, so it wasn't really a well-known arcade game. Uh, it doesn't say... Let's see if ports... Oh, ah. the, the game was ported to Atari 2600 by Mattel in 1983, but it was never published. Uh. Um, I, this one's from scratch, I, and also obviously renamed because there have been, uh, I think we discussed before, a number of games that have been forcibly taken off the market because uh, well, at least one, Princess Rescue, which uh, Nintendo really didn't like them uh, making a Mario clone, a Super Mario Brothers clone. I don't know if they had, my turn, had an issue with uh, just the music or the whole concept. How do you go down the thing? Uh, in the new version, the, he um, made it so you can do it on an angle. Oh. Um, I didn't know that. But this one isn't it. Oh, I see. <laughs> you have to just get close to it and go down just like you were doing. Like you have to be right above it. Oh, it just clears. Oh, no. It cleared this. Oh, I got both of them. That's why. So it doesn't give you immunity, it just clears the screen. Oh, for a while. That's kind of handy. Not handy enough. Ah. No, no, back, back! It's hard to get to the bottom. I know. Without more ants. It looks like if you eat an ant on a level, uh, that level stays pretty clear for a while. Oh, why did I do that? This is where the screen rolls on the new version, right when it starts playing the music. It's very frustrating because the new version is so much better than this. And when you say it rolls, you mean oh, pull it that's back. I'm, that's what I'm guessing. Oh, I could have got the points, but I don't want to. I just want to get my last pallets, clear the screen. Sorry, what do you mean the screen rolls? Um, I was trying to kill ants, I guess, when you were talking about it because I... Right. I, yeah. Um, we're not playing the newest version because there's a glitch that causes um, the screen to freak out and even like it was killing my hardware encoding <laughs> so it would cut off completely uh. and usually that happens on 2600 games like uh, whoa when um, when they draw too many lines on the screen uh, for the TV to handle or whatever to handle. There. <laughs> and um, I just saw a dangerous worm coming to you and you looked at me and we're talking. I was like, no! No, don't look away! <laughs> and the screen can't draw it. So it does its best. Um, but it like flips a little bit. But modern systems don't just easily flip. Like when you have LCDs and more digital based yeah. um, systems, they drop the yeah. frame and say, I don't have a signal anymore. Yeah. And depending on what kind of TV you have, it could take like seconds to like 30 seconds to reset to once again, start searching for a signal. Yeah. yeah. On old CRTs, like analog stuff, it's just like it's um, analog. It's just, it's just goes, it shows you what <laughs> signal it has. It doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't care what it is. It yeah. doesn't process it. Um, so it only flipped out for a, like a, a tiny, tiny fraction of a second, which is like not a big deal. Yeah. Oh, uh, 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 there's just no time. I mean, if I had the angle thing going, yeah, yeah, it'd be, it'd be great. I mean, we'll give 0.9 a try after this, I think, just to, sure. just to see, just to show people <laughs> what it looks like. Okay, let's give it a try now. Sure, yeah. Because I think this is 
more like a test version because you have no lives and it just keeps going so that you can see. Yeah, yeah. Or you guys are going to see uh, some, some blue screens and stuff. <laughs> and no signals. So just use your imagination. <laughs> Until it uh, resets here. Actually, why is it doing that? That's interesting. Um, so it's just this screen that it does it. Because the Frame Meister, I thought I set so it didn't flip out like that. Like this? This no, is intentional. No, 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 not like that. Just one second. We may be able to fix this. What are we fixing? Uh, we are fixing the problem that... Oops. Come on. Oh, no, no. It's set right. It's just this screen that does it. Everything else works fine. Yeah? Yeah. This screen... Like, this font is designed to, to vibrate. Beef. Yes. And it just causes that problem. But, On the but screen, it doesn't normally fine. happen in the games. Like, it normally looks fine. Yeah, the screen has always been a <laughs> hot mess. <laughs> there, we have a title screen on this one, which is nice. And there's a little sun at the top. Oh, it's it that looks deal? way better. And there's lives. Oh, my. <laughs> and you can see going down is a lot easier. As long as I don't die, everything's going to be great. <laughs> but as soon as I die, like right now it's going to flip out. Uh-oh. As soon as it starts playing the tune, it just goes crazy. Just and unfortunately, like, it kills it bed. until it's time enough that I get killed again. Oh. Oh, this one, this time it didn't. Yay. But you can see how long it takes for it to come back, which is Really yeah, quite yeah. deadly. Yeah. Uh, ooh. Shouldn't, shouldn't do that. So you not get points for eating ants? Uh, oh, I'm sure you do. Let's see. Oh, what? No points for ants? I guess you. What you really want is the eggs. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> I would think there's points for ants, but I guess the point is that you have to eat the ants like you will die if you don't eat the ants they're not a bonus right <laughs> which makes sense what is the bonus clearing clearing of the worms you get points for but ants you have to kill like there's no choice they will they will kill your tongue so will They'll the worms die. no they've passed right through you no yeah. not facing the wrong way and ants not don't pass right way. through you if they're fa <laughs> it's the exact same rules just the opposite to the ants don't die. Don't die. There we go. Oh, it's a red ant now. I guess we can kind of play this version. See, the controls are, like, infinitely easier. Ah! <laughs> no! Oh, it just... Po no, it does go to no signal there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what I'm going to do is just rock back and forth here. There we go. Come on. Uh, oh, that didn't work. That didn't quite work. <laughs> <laughs> Your old enemy, the worm. So if uh, Oscar is watching, <laughs> please <laughs> fix this. Because <laughs> this, is, this is a very cool game when it's, when it's working. Ah! I don't know what the red ants are different. Should I try and eat one? Yep. More points? You get points for the red ants. Yeah. But you don't get any points for the brown ants. Maybe the red ants don't hurt you as much? Ooh. Woohoo! Yes! Level three on the first... Not the first play. <laughs> well, no. You had some practice. I did have a little, had a little bit of practice. Ah! <laughs> Why? Don't cut out. I think I've got a tactic, as long as no worms come. Yeah, but you don't need to move the... Worm. <laughs> it's only the worm that will kill you. The ant, yes. If your tongue is straight down, the ants oh, won't. Oh, so don't move. Yeah. Okay, good tactic. I hope that a worm does not murder you. <laughs> <laughs> a worm murdered me. A worm again. murdered you again. <laughs> okay, here you go. 
Now that we have, uh, oh, let me just get this. Get some chords going there. There you go. Yeah, you think this is a good idea? Uh, playing this version? Or it's gonna be all blue screen, my friend. All blue no, screen. That's fine. That's fine. It's all good. <laughs> Easier, right? Eh? Go down. Yeah. The tongue's a little too fast sometimes now, because you only want to retract it a bit. Oh! <laughs> Touch it. Don't touch it. We have to entertain while there's no. Oh, and a worm. Damn uh, worm. Would it be tactical to go to the left or right a bit, just in case there is a worm? But that also opens you up to an ant. Oh, oh you chose the wrong direction. <laughs> I did. I was thinking. And I thought the worm usually came from that direction. It was. I don't know it, if it, it had does been normally. in the past. Yeah. <laughs> what? Why, the why hell? you play me like this, worms? Come on. <laughs> why worms? I All saw right. an ant was coming from the right just before it flipped out, but you'd probably kill it by now. Uh, clearly, though, the new version, is, apart from <laughs> the technical difficulties, is clearly an improvement. Oh. Totally superior. It doesn't flip here though, and it's playing the same tune. Yeah. So something, something about uh, it, what's happening during the actual gameplay is making it flip out. Going right to the bottom is a good tactic to go right away when there's no ants. Yeah, probably. There, cleared the screen for a long time. Yeah, that was eating the ants. At oh, the, the ants? The glowy, oh, the, one. the glowy ants. Come on. There we go. Woohoo! So, is the sun the timer? Um, it's... I don't know what happens when it gets to the end, but I oh. think it is a timer. No! No cut out! Any comments? Of course, I haven't been in the chat. Worm! Immediate worm death. <laughs> Immediate worm death. <laughs> Standard worm death. Yeah, I guess if you if you put it one direction, yeah. you have a 50% chance of surviving. Worm survival. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Ah! Oh, oh no! Oh. The sun is blue now. The sun is blue? That's a very strange... Uh, color for the sun. Yellow on Earth, that white, would be, white in space. I but think blue, blue. I think blue stars are really it's like. Green. Oh, it's flashing. It just stopped uh, on the green. I think. Yeah. Blue stars. Yeah, yeah I think they're blues. very big. I think uh, they're like outrageously large. Like. Death. So large. <laughs> yeah. So large that the sun looks like. Uh, an asteroid a, a speck of them or dust. <laughs> Come on. I just saw I died there. Or is that far enough behind you? Okay. I think we. I have... think we need to move on. Yes, I think so. Unfortunately. Okay. So the second game we have today is. Yep. Oh yes, yes. Thank you. Terrible, terrible, terrible. It's one of the three things you have to do. Or is to remember <laughs> to flip the game. Because if you look in the old streams, it's just it just sticks there. The same game, the first game, the second game. We never make it to the last, <laughs> the last picture of the last game. <laughs> uh, the second game today is Plague. Oh. So, ooh, what is this? Ooh, ooh. Hopefully it's that one. Nope. That one. There we go. Um, and this one is labeled final version. Um, so this is going to be the one he's going to release. So hopefully we don't find any bugs <laughs> while we play it. And I'm pretty sure enough people have, have played this through. And this is 
by Ferrer. Oh, these names. They kill me. Ferrer, and I apologize, uh, Janos Zoltan. But he said, just call him Zoltan. Uh, which I can't pronounce. And uh, he is member Atarian on Atari Age. So if you want to look him up there, or just search for Plague, and you can download, you can download all these games right now and uh, play them. So, what it looks like is, have you ever seen those really, uh, oh, you died, old? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I w that was not clear to me. <laughs> You've seen those black and white pictures of Plague Era, or I guess there wouldn't be photos of the Plague. Plague was a long time ago. <clears throat> but the people wearing those crazy, freaky masks. Ah, yes. Uh, I believe you're one of those guys. They come to collect the dead from the plague. No! <laughs> <laughs> and you only get one life, <laughs> apparently. Very nice uh, um, screen, title screen. And this is a platformer. Just keep listening to him and looking at him. <laughs> ignore, ignore the demo that's happening right now on the screen. Yeah, I'm not playing. This is just what it does when nobody's playing. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yep. <clears throat> so I don't have any instructions ah, for this, for this I one. I almost got the glowy thing. <laughs> instructions for this one. But apparently don't fall into pits. And uh, the graphics are very appropriate and the colors are very appropriate for a game called The Plague. Oh. What happened? What? Nothing happened. Maybe you have to bend down. Sometimes, like in these games, you have to crouch down to pick up stuff. There we go. Um, I do see a, a little screen blip when it changes, but this one is fine. It's handling it just fine. All right, getting better. Getting better. Oh my God! Birds, bats, bats. bats. The uh, oh, I don't know if that was a good idea. Can you shoot? Can you press up and button? No. Oh, does a little funny crouch there. <laughs> I don't know if that helps you at all. I don't think you're going to get past this bat. It's just going too fast. There's not enough room. Maybe you'll be fine. Maybe you shouldn't have fallen in this pit. Uh, uh, can you jump across that thing up there? Uh, maybe. I tend to, I seem to remember hitting my head on the ceiling. Like, you can't... Oh, I fell and died and did not have to face the bat. <laughs> that was the way out of that. That's how you get out of that bat situation. Yep. You just you just die. Oh. <coughs> oh, you continue on from the screen you're on. What is that? Is that a one? Do I have a one point? <laughs> you got... Oh, you know what? You collected two items. Uh-huh. Oh, and, and now you're down lives. to one. So as you collect, now you're down to zero because you've lost an item. Can you go back? No, you can't jump across that. There's no way. So maybe you don't die with the bat? <gasps> oh, you took a little bit of... Oh, you have a bar there on the left. Oh. So you have a damage... Oh, God. <laughs> you have a damage bar. There you go. So you can run into things just as long as you don't... <laughs> no hope. <laughs> Is that prophetic? <laughs> that's going to that's gonna disappear. For sure, as soon as you oh, start yeah. walking. Is that... Yeah. That, I knew that, it was a pit, I knew, but I yeah. was... I didn't know how... To, I thought I had to get closer before I could jump out. Okay, now you've got the item, so you can just book it. Well, this... The, ah! Oh, you fell right into the pit. I don't, did. Don't get in that one tiny spot. Oh, you're going into a mouth of a cave. Oh, cool. It's going to be hard to see pits. <laughs> so just stay I know. high. That's stay what I thought. High. Ah! Oh. I saw that pit. Yeah? Right before I fell into <laughs> it. Oh, it's your turn oh, now. Oh, you lost enough lives. It's kind of interesting that... Holding it down... I have a feeling, though, that, like... Yeah. It's weird. If you hold it down, you just keep jumping. Like, it doesn't matter. Good. Oh, you keep jumping. Yeah. Well, I guess that's. And could there was be good. one point where it seemed like I jumped in. Fr 
against nothing in midair. Jumping is quite like press the jump and hold it maybe. Jumped in midair? No. Thought I did. There's no double jump. Alright. That I can see. Ah! Gah! Ah! Oh, the bat ate you in at that in the way that it stuck. did not eat me. Ugh. Oh. You get stuck on run, stairs. Run, 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 run. So now I've got one extra life. Two. I did use you have two one up. Okay. Yeah, two more tries. This is the two there. That's all I, I think. Your say. nose gets stuck. Oh, yeah. There we go. Can I pick these things up? No. There's no hope on this screen. <laughs> no hope at all. There's literally no hope run, run, on run, that run. screen. No. Oh. That's what I did. We're the same, you and me. Oh, I fell down. I should have jumped. Can I get up there, you think? I did. Okay. That seemed like... See, that's what I mean. You couldn't jump that high, but you hit the wall and... And jumped off, and the, jumped wall. off the wall. Oh, uh -oh. my God. What the... See, even I didn't die to that guy. No. <laughs> you did better than me. I gotta that take part. the I gotta take the little victories I can. Wherever you can. <laughs> I don't think there is any de <clears throat> deadly ground. There is in this one. Yep. I think this was the end of your game. Yeah, uh, don't fall off that. Or that. That's the one I fell off of. And you did not. <sighs> well, oh yeah. Out of the badness and I got another life. I don't think fall in that little hole. That looks like a pit. Yeah. Oh, what? Hmm. Why is... Hmm. I can't see below me. That's the floor. What? Oh, it's a bridge. You gotta run! Run! Oh. Run! Oh, that's what's vibrating. Oh my god. <laughs> Brutal. That's why you couldn't see below. I think it... Ah! Oh. There Wait. you go. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, yes. <laughs> <coughs> I think on the bridges, jumping and running might be a good tactic. Some of them move faster than others. Yeah. The first bridge, you can make it across if you run. Yeah. And the second one, you cannot. Without jumping. Yeah, holding down the button at that point is a good good way to just hook it across. Yeah. Wee, wee, no wee, hope, wee. no hope. It's the it's the most hopeful screen says no hope. <laughs> yes, you can't die on it. Unlike that. Every time. Why do I have to lose a life on that such seemingly simple No death on this screen. There is death on this screen. Ah, it's right there. That's where you die on that screen. <laughs> <laughs> you made it last time, though. I did. Certainly not hopeless. Oof. Oh, it's just so hard that. And don't fall into that little crack. No, I'm gonna go slow. Okay, this is the bridge. The bridge. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna run I'm gonna and jump. Run and jump. There's like a ledge there that I think you have to jump up on. And I have one more try. I, you can't make it up on that ledge. You're right. You can't. <laughs> I think they made this game unbeatable. But You're are you right. supposed to run across or actually get up on that ledge, you think? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think you're asking the wrong guy. <laughs> Probably. I'm the one that just about fell into the pit on the first. Is level the programmer? Again. And fell. I'm, so is what's it, that over there? Is the programmer watching? What that? <laughs> the computer? Nothing. Nothing to see here. <laughs> is the video game? Ah no no nothing nothing. The video this game level sounds... seems to last forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh I see. It was a distraction, so you could start again. Which, which is... Ah! Tears! You have to one, at least get more. that thing. That one thing. <laughs> it's, it's like, this is the hardest level for me. <laughs> oh. 
Is Zoltan in the, in the crowd? Is the programmer in the crowd? Can you tell us how to get across that bridge? The, the, the bridge in the dark? <laughs> Do you have to jump on that ledge or can you run straight across the bridge? Please help us. Because it's dark, I can't tell what's going on. So you or anybody that's played this game. Oh. Oh, I, 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 came to, I know, I came down from... Uh... Well, now you're stuck down there. Oh, there you go. Stupid bridge. It's very cool, that vibration when the bridge disappears. It's very, very cool. When it shakes the screen. <laughs> Your nose is stuck. Oh, oh. I've seen some of the later ball, screens, that's fine. and they're very cool. Unfortunately, we will never make it there. No. Oh. oh, what? You didn't die in that? Ah! I fell. <laughs> <laughs> so there's only one pit? Is that tiny thing? But no. Yeah, I think you just got lucky. Because that other part is definitely pit. No! Ah! <laughs> Straight into the pit. Ooh, lucky. Nothing to do with it. <laughs> skill based. It's all skill based. Oh! Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh no! Can you make it out? Oh, I think you can. Yay! Ah! Oh. Uh. <laughs> Let's give it one more go. <laughs> See if we can make it to the bridge again. No, nobody watching knows? Oh my god, that was pathetic. I want to die and start again. That's some Darcy level nonsense you got <laughs> going on there. No, you can't jump across that. But it does get you past the first bat to stay up there. Yes, that's a big help. This is my favorite screen. <laughs> oh! I don't don't think jump! I'm, I'm gonna make it to the bridge. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's not worth it actually to go. It, well, for you it might be worth it. It's not worth it for me. It wasn't worth it for you this time. Oh, why? Am you're I jumping, jumping at the wrong time. You gotta jump at the end. I'm doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing again. That was just dying on terrible, terrible spots. That I should not have died on. It's basically the rule I was following. <laughs> I guess that's fair. <laughs> yeah, you had an extra turn. Did I? An yeah. extra turn? <laughs> an extra whole turn. Oh, I'm stuck on the floor. <laughs> the uh, collision detection. Oh my god. Collision detection. No. Nope. You have jump to jump at the end. end. Yeah. Don't shake the controller. It's not. It doesn't work that. Way. At oh. the end. <laughs> okay, jump. jump. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, okay. That's how you do it. That's how yeah, you do it. You that just one. wait till it gets close, and then you use gravity in your favor. Yep. <clears throat> the collision detection in this game is kind of janky, but it's kind of fun at the same time that you're like falling into the wall and. Oh, but you made it past that one before. Oh, yeah. It's just the bridge part. This. Okay, I have two lives. Okay. I have to move a bit. And then I'm going to hold down the fire button to try and just jump, jump, jump. For sure you have to jump up there. Maybe. Oh, finally. Wait, I thought you couldn't. I thought that you couldn't do that one. I couldn't. Okay. I thought it was impossible to do. It was. <laughs> and now it's not. Okay. Like, you just have to die here and find out. My nose is holding me in midair. What? <gasps> is that a feature? I believe it is. <laughs> <laughs> not a bug, a feature. Oh, there's no cure. Oh. Is there bonus stuff up here? No. I want bonus stuff to be up there. <laughs> I think your nose is used for climbing walls. 
The fact that you can't jump when your nose is stuck on the wall is not <laughs> a, a, a bug. It's that it's a hook. This is what I saw. Yeah. Very cool. What are these hanging people? Why do they kill you to be touched? Oh, because it's a plague. Yep. Sometimes, sometimes I'm a bit slow on the update. I have no lives left. Left. Is that going to kill me going down there? Yes. You think? No. No, because if I jump, I'm going to hit that guy. Ugh. Give me the controller. Don't look at me like I want to go again. Uh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> almost made it past the da dangling bodies but if you jumped you're gonna hit that guy because he's so far he's not he's too low there's no death down there oh well, if you do that there is no oh, i can get it that's not worth it i mean it is worth it because it gets you past the bat You only take a tiny, tiny bit of damage touching the bat once. So it's not too bad. No. The best screen ever. That's not worth it. <laughs> the movements are so big. Like the steps that you have to take. Hard to do precision. That's how you do it. And all the other ways I'm going to die are not from hit points anyways. Because you're going to hit that guy. I can't... No, uh, that guy if... you can get around easy. Without, I just did without, it wrong. Oh, without touching him? Yeah. You just wait till he gets close, and then you jump down, and mm. you run underneath him. Okay. Okay. Even you did it once. <laughs> did I? <laughs> Is this the furthest? This is my furthest. Excellent. And you have two lives. Good luck on this. <laughs> hey, that sounded like a curse. No. Oh, almost. You had the right idea. Jump! Ah! <laughs> she did really good. This is one of those games where you have to get used to the way the game works. The way the guy jumps, the way the guy moves, which obviously I have no understanding of yet, being hit by the bat twice, <laughs> but yeah. Oof. Oh my God. Why is that so hard? <laughs> it's not even worth jumping now there to get that free life. Is that kind of almost <laughs> it is almost not worth it unless you know you're gonna make it out of that well you should try to jump and get to the other one and then if you fail you'll land on that thing and get a free turn and then yeah. you'll be in the same position that's that's true I guess the reason to do it is to get practice <sighs> I swear I made it that time. I thought you made it that time, too. What Blue. is happening? There's Something's some glitching out. <laughs> some no signals going on. Yeah. I think it's a conspiracy. I think you did get up there, and the game <laughs> is trying to hold you back. I think so, too. Well, that took a while to come back. What's this? Oh. We're fine. We're fine. You okay. did. You got Yay. it. Yay! So there was some vibrating bridgey thing that just threw it right off uh, I think that's what happened there but it didn't do it before oh you do fall down here and this is the nose to nose situation <laughs> thing you hook your way along I hope there's a level where you have to climb up with your nose <laughs> back and forth but you can't yeah because you can't jump like you have to fall off yeah. but then you can't jump in midair so no that's true okay that's an easy one this is an easy one too this one is not if to somehow you jump as you jump when it's at the bottom about to go up yeah 
There we go. Yeah. Ugh. You made it look easy. <laughs> it was not. Ugh. Stupid nose. Oh god. This is where I die. <laughs> is he changing direction of his shot? No. Okay. That's really good animation. Okay, that's a pit where I die. Okay. That's a pit, so I can't go down. You gotta jump up. I gotta jump up and somehow fall. Suck your nose into it somehow. There you go. Oh, he is changing shot. Look, yeah, he is. I'm just gonna have to fall Leap in between faith. the shot. Leap of faith. Boom. Like Boom. Indiana Jones 3. Boom. Boom. Oh! Oh, it doesn't kill you. Uh, oh. Quickly. <laughs> it doesn't kill you quickly. <laughs> quickly. <laughs> it does kill but you. But if you get stuck, he'll kill you. So he, he has a bit, he does have a range. Okay. I think. So this game, again, like lots of the games, it didn't feel like the way old Atari games felt to me. No. Like each level is different and like each level like, progresses like, and the like there's little a structure tricks to it. Are different. Yeah. Uh, yeah, every level you have to th rethink your tactics. Yeah. Um, and there's an obvious end to this because nothing's repeating. Yeah. Each screen is absolutely different. I don't know how many screens there are, but um, yeah, very I kind of like this new generation of games where especially with the graphics like that is those trees are made like you can tell they're trees dead trees like really good graphics and they're way taller than normal um atari graphics um but i think we have played this out yep um so the third game that we're going to play and i'm going to change the graphics so i don't forget right now i have to message somebody Okay. <laughs> Is Robo Mechanic. Let's switch this over. Now this is very special. Um, now which one is it? Oh, it's gonna play the zip file? I hope it does. That doesn't look good. I'm just going to do a tiny bit of something here Well, we pause because it was in a zip and I didn't unzip it. So we're going to switch to full here so you don't have to look at a blue screen. Because this is a brand new version that nobody has played except the programmer. We have exclusive new game. Exclusive. Exclusive. Like, For me, that means <laughs> exactly the same as all the other ones, because I haven't played any of these before. <laughs> But, the but difference, for you, it's very exciting. The difference is... And for you, it means that I played it before you did. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Come on. There we go. It's something. <laughs> it's It's something. It's something, all right. <laughs> there we go. I don't know what's happening right now. I believe some uh, files are being transferred. As we speak right now, the, the most up-to-date version of the file is now being transferred uh, onto the cartridge. And then we'll be able to plug it in while well, the cartridge is plugged in, but just whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and then turn it on, and then we'll see Robo Mechanic in all of its glory. Yes. And um, I will die very quickly, a few times at least, if uh, dying is something that happens in this game. Uh, it does. You can die. Hmm. This is a puzzle game. Oh. So, let's hope that this works and doesn't fl glitch out um, sadly if it does glitch out we'll have to play the old version so please don't glitch out please don't glitch out yay okay
Work in um, progress. <laughs> how is there so much cool music? There's so much cool music is because the programmer is from the demo scene. Um, you know what demos are? Yeah. Okay. For the people out there who don't know what demos are, they are programs that aren't games. You can't usually interact with them. Sometimes you can, but usually you can't. So the music's not too loud. I'm going to turn it down just a touch. It looks like we're at the same level as it is. Um, and they are demos are used to push the limitations of the console or computer by using every trick possible and usually trying to do something that's never been seen or done on the computer or thought could be done on the computer or console. Like 3D objects on a system that only has like 2D stuff and it's like that thing can't calculate those 3D graphics fast enough. How did it do it? <laughs> um, and as you can see this is a gorgeous, gorgeous game. Um, the graphics are, like, if you look at the graphics, he's actually built in the line look of Atari 2600, even though I don't have that on, like the emulation of the um, raster lines, is that the right terminology? So this was, this game was made by, if you didn't see it already on the screen, and I'm gonna mispronounce this name as well, and I apologize in advance. Christoph Kluzek. Kluzek? Lots, lots of letters there. Uh, is on Atari Age, his name is Sikor. Uh, and you can see it on the screen right now. Christoph KK Kluzek. And um, if you wanna find out more about this game or find out when new versions are coming out, and he said, this version is coming out today. So you'll get to see it here first, and then you'll be able to download it later today, or maybe tomorrow. Depends. He's in a different time zone. I think he's in Europe, but... Um, so they're ahead of us. No, yes. He's ahead. Eight hours. Eight or nine-ish hours. Because yeah. uh, England is eight, yeah. right? Um, so, depending on where he is in Europe, it could be eight, nine, ten hours. Yeah. Um, so, follow the dev, Either way they're devkk.net <clears throat> uh, Facebook page for updates. So, it's devkk.net. Uh, because we're at the end of the day. Yeah. It's like time starts over here. Here's <laughs> where we are on the globe. And it starts like over here. And there's nobody between us and that. And then it goes. <gasps> and then time ends here. We're at the end of time. <laughs> That's right. We're we get all the, the news time. late. And we celebrate New Year's. We get to see all of the other New Year's first. Yeah. And then we can do it better. That's we right. don't, we but we all, could. We, we get could all do the, it all the hints and we go, oh yeah, they did okay, but we'll up, one-up them. And... Okay. Your turn first. I have played this game, so it's better that you play it and discover all the things. Oh, wow, this is new. A little bot, bot got stranded on an alien planet. Help him fix his ship and return home. Wow, so many updates in this one. I just went straight to the game before. Stage A1, you got four robots. Get ready. And there's amazing music playing throughout the game. And um, if some of you recognize this music, it is from a demo that he put out. Oh, I see. Oh, somebody, Vostel 1, uh, Vostel 11 said it just got released. So there you go. So if you're liking this, you can go and play it right after, which is great. Nails for a nail gun, maybe? Maybe. Or... I'll tell you how to fire. It's a little bit different. You hold down the, the button and then press the direction you want to fire. Uh, yeah. So the cross hatches are doors or blocks that you have to destroy. And um, I think you've killed yourself at this point. 
because you destroyed the bomb that was going to get you through the door. Uh, um, I don't know if you can kill yourself. Kill yourself. Maybe go up against a wall and fire at it? That's what I'm trying, but I keep moving when I... Go right up again. It, it doesn't let you fire? No? Okay. I think we might have to reset this I thought this level. maybe I would be able to pull the... There we go. Oh! The game reset kills you. Because there are impossible situations that you can't get out of. And you do have unlimited bullets. It's just as long as you get the bullets. What? So if I hit the bomb... Oh, okay. Alright. Don't get too close. Hold down the fire. Oh, uh, there we go. In direction. I, I avoided the bomb because I thought, oh, that's a bomb. <laughs> well, and I makes thought, sense. don't touch the bomb. But apparently, that was that was not how it worked. So the objective is to get to your little ship, and you repair the ship with the screws, which makes sense. And you have bullets, and you can shoot the bombs to destroy the barriers. And. Um, And Christoph, I hope I'm saying that right, um, told me that there's... Uh-oh, I just screwed that up. <laughs> completely? Maybe no. not. Maybe no. not completely. Uh, uh hmm, maybe. He's, uh, the programmer said there's going to be planned 101 levels no, in this game. And if you look in the forums, I think he posted in the forums, um... A very, very tiny screenshot of all the levels that have been done so far. Yeah. You screwed it up. I might not have. How can you get the... You can't push... Oh, you can push those. Oh. Uh, but I don't... You can push that one over, but that's the only thing you can push now. And then you can't push anything else. Yeah. It's because the second bomb... It's because I pushed the bomb. It's a, anyways. Oh. Press the reset. Okay. This is this game ha, probably has the best in-game music I've heard in an Atari Twenty Six Hundred game. Um, I mean. Draconian has in-game speech, which is mind-blowing, but to have continuous amazing music in a game, um, I mean, Pitfall 2 has good music, but this is like updated modern demo scene music. Um, very, very cool. So the bombs kill a nine square radius, right? But I can't move that bomb. It's in the corner. It stays in the corner. So I wasn't... So I didn't do anything wrong. I don't know if I had done anything wrong in the last one. Hmm. Oh, you can still get the screw. Uh, yes. Now I can. There you go. Yeah. But now I screwed. Nope. You can still move that out of the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Way out of the way. But now, oh yeah, you can push that. Okay, good. Okay. And there's probably multiple ways to do some things. There you go. A5. Now there's moving enemies. And I played through this, um, the um, the previous version that he released, um, a little bit yesterday, and the. The screen variety is amazing. Um, the types of enemies and the types of objects that he he puts into the games. Like now there's keys and teleporters. Which is super, super cool. And he was telling me, I was chatting with him yesterday, and he was telling me he had to make it monochrome like all the the characters because there was just not enough time to in the programs to um, enough clock cycles to be able to do color as well but I think it actually adds to the aesthetic 
the, the green. And actually there's a nice blue border now. Ah, it pushes it out of the way. Oh, but that is okay. Bullets don't go through the portal, I guess. Yeah, no, I was trying that. There we go. Oh, and thank you, Vostow, for watching the stream today. Everybody else watching, if you want to come in and uh, chat, just type in the chat in this in the. Um, in the uh, oh, Twitch stream. If you're watching this on YouTube later, welcome. Hope you're enjoying the work in progress homebrews. Oh, you can only carry one key at a time. Ah. This reminds me a lot of like C64 level yeah. games. Like with the amazing music playing in the background, because that's what usually the C64 um, programs really re had uh, good strength. Is they had good graphics, decent graphics, but the uh, uh oh, uh, uh, not very good at the moving but around. But the music parts. was always the feature. Like even in a bad game, they would have amazing music. Ah, uh, that's uh, too bad. I figured it out, but bad. I just. As you know, I have terrible uh, <laughs> game dexterity. <laughs> it does. I've never played games on these controllers. Oh, really? Ever. I never had a phase in my life where I was playing them on those controllers. It was always joystick? Joystick mouse or keyboard. keyboard. Mouse keyboard, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, these controllers... I mean... Did you have a PlayStation ever? A PlayStation, yeah. Yeah, okay. But I didn't play it enough even to get used to the, those new controllers very well. Okay. But I'm better at them than this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so these are turrets. Oh, I uh, can't go there yet. It actually changes colors. Right, now it's not green anymore. Now I can go back. Ah! go. Oh, so you're just continuing for where I was. Oh my god. Yes. Okay. Thankfully. Yeah. The game just... Because it's that's what puzzle games usually do, right? Mm. It's like, why... What's the point of starting over from Once you figure it screen out one? Otherwise, it's just like, oh, now I have to put in time to now do this puzzle I know how to solve. Ah! Okay. I did play this level last night. Oh, I see. The guy kind of... It opens the guy up to the new screen. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, did I make it here? Yes, I did. Oh my, oh, that was so dumb. Sometimes it moves two spots when you don't want it to move two spots. Screws to fix your ship. Oh, now it's hovering. It's such a cool game. So much attention to detail. So I'm near the ship this time. And there's these guys moving around. At least there's safe safe zones. Yeah. And that's that gonna unleash one. that guy for sure. It's gonna unleash hell. Okay. I'll just follow this guy and back to the ship. Done. Oh, more of these guys. Ah, oh, so you went double. And <laughs> <coughs> wasn't that bad of a death? <laughs> a beautiful title screen too. Like you, you can really tell this guy um, was working on demos beforehand because everything is so the graphics are so clean and the graph and the the music is so good. Oh. The, the the movement. In these games, oh. it has to be a balance between moving fast by holding down the control, but not moving too fast that if you hold it down, that that you can press it without moving twice every time you press it. 
so it's a fine balance because in this I've noticed, oh! noticed that you move too, too many times sometimes. Yeah, because I press the button twice, but sometimes it moves twice. Yeah. That's exactly what you said. Um, yeah, the human reaction time is, is not fast enough to not move twice. So I would, I don't know, maybe back it off a bit in the speed of the movement, or at least the first move in the movement. If you're if you're listening and watching afterwards, or during, oh, killed you right away. You were not in a safe spot at the beginning. Be warned. <laughs> <laughs> like you die right away. Oh, uh, it's boy. just that like up till now you were in a safe spot when you start the game. Uh, this one you weren't. Oh, Let's also I want to add that I believe every single this camera angle is terrible. Why is the camera angle so terrible now? No, it's the room that's crooked. <laughs> but I mean, you're not tall anymore. Oh, but that's because I'm sitting... No, because I'm slouched now. But when I'm sitting like this... <laughs> now my head disappears. There we go. Well, don't. <laughs> but, so I have to slouch the whole time? Well, it's such a huge difference. It's like a foot. Mm. Well, you're slouching more than anything, so... Um, Unless I'm playing. And then That's you're, like, thing. sitting straight forward. Okay. Okay, those are deadly. Uh, oh, it's just a maze. Oh, no. Oh, I did play this one last night. Uh, I see. It's, it's just uh... a race. And it's twitchy! Ah! This is where the movement comes into play a big time. Like you have to move fast, but you don't want to move too fast because you'll run into the things that are strategically placed to kill you if you move oh. too far. But I was playing this on the keyboard last night and pressing keys on the keyboard is much no! <laughs> more precise than... Uh... There you go. <laughs> <laughs> much more precise than this. There we go. Because your ship is built in that one, thankfully. Yeah. No, that's not thankful. It means you have to run around like a... I have no bullets. <laughs> a weirdo. Oh, you're doing this one, too. Except just, you're not being immediately chased. Oh, same problem. Ah. Ah, uh, that's just as hard, but it's another way to do it. Yay! Safe zone! And I have to do it all over again. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Not if I don't want to! <laughs> Can't make me... <laughs> Come on. There we Puzzle go. Part better. <laughs> what? I thought that was a safe spot. No. Stop in the doorway. The only safe spots. Oh no. I think you should do it my way. I mean, if <laughs> I was able, to, if I was able to do it. Yeah. Um, Too fast to the bat for the bat. Hey, it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe your joystick is bad. No. No. It's us. You hear that? <laughs> it's not the joystick. It's not the joystick. Now but I how is it that sometimes? Way. How is it that sometimes it responds to the movement at one click at a time, and other times it doesn't? It's not the joystick. It's the game. I don't know. I don't think so. This one you want this to go easy. ahead of him. Yes. Oh, good. 
Good. I'm sure this one's worse, but at least we got past that one. Well, this one has safe zones. Yes. Okay, I'm just gonna push this right out of the way. That's fairly easy. And this guy looks like he's gonna stay in his pattern. Oh! Oh, it killed things that I wanted it to kill. That's good. Okay, that's fine. And there's a puzzle down here. But there's only one thing I can push. And once you push it, then you can push the next thing that you there's can push. There's a door! But I have to get the screw anyway first, it doesn't matter. Um, once I'm past, I'm safe. So there's only one thing I can push here, which is that. So I have to push that. Yeah. And there's only one thing I can push now. Yeah. It also gets you where you want to go. There's still only one thing to push. There we go. Okay, that's fine. What? That didn't open. The key disappeared. That's the thing. <gasps> it shot the key. What shot the key? The laser dude shot the key. How did it shoot the key? Where was the key? <laughs> I think he shot the key. It's my last life. Nope. I think I have one more. Let's see what's happening. Oh, it is. Okay. I'm pretty sure he shot the key. But something disappeared so he was able to shoot the key. The oh. bomb. You have to do it without the bomb blowing up? Yes. So if you move that Oh, block, once you move it, you have to get over there before the thing shoots so many oh, times. It shoots one at every shot. It shoots one closer to the bomb. Oh, you moved it. No, 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 no. It's another You're way. to move it back. Move it just one up or and then two move up, it back. And yeah. move it back. Yeah. yeah. One more and back down. There we go. Okay. That's much better. Because I was like <laughs> thinking I had to race. I, I don't think it's possible to do it fast enough because it only got down to two. You don't have to kill the bat or the bomb. Stage C. Nice. Oh, this is like Boulder Dash. Ah, so do not let them out. Don't let them out. It's like the diamonds in Boulder Dash, where you dig and then the and then the diamonds fall down. Careful now. Actually, you go all the way back around. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Because those are too fast. They're just going to kill you. Yeah. Whoa. So this is using the digging again. It's a lot of screws to get. I would... Yeah. Well, that's not too bad. Yeah, if you just get them in the corners doesn't open up the guys in the middle yet. You will have to eventually open up the guys in the middle. Hmm. Over. Maybe you can let them out? I can take this. Oh, like... you're still safe. Okay. Yeah, oh. I get, that's safe. It's the side ones. It's the ones that they hit. So the top one you can't get, those oh. ones you can't hit. Then Because they're the ones that they... turn it. Okay, they turn when they hit it. Okay, they always turn right. That makes sense. No, I screwed it up already, even if I didn't die. <laughs> no, screwed up. Oh. But okay. that wasn't, like, I, I, that was the whole thing where I double moved. Yes. Because of something. <laughs> something. Not me. Maybe me. <laughs> like, no. Probably me. What? Oh, because I let him. Oh, because I got rid of that one at the bottom there. And he started moving to a spot he shouldn't move. No, don't ruin that one. Yeah, don't ruin that one because he turns on that one. Yeah. You don't want to do that one either. Right, okay. <gasps> you don't or that one. Damn it. Do it better. Do it. Get good. Just get no, good. No, go back. Oh, yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah. learn the laws of the game and how it works. Okay. You can get the middle one. You can go right up in the middle. Oh, I didn't do anything. In the middle there, too. 
I could have just stood in the middle. You could go right up through the middle. Oh my god. That was dumb. I <laughs> just ran right into it immediately. We know what to do. <laughs> We're not just doing nope. it. <laughs> we know exactly what to do. But just doing it is the challenge. Without messing up. Perfect. Alright! Okay. I think if you just get up and down, they'll stay in their pattern. Yeah. No. That provided him a way to turn right, because they always turn right if they can. Uh, so we just go in and out, and, and then run away. Yeah, my intent was not to go double. It's oh, just the thing that happens. Right, yeah. okay. Oh, but that would get me, because it would turn right. Yes, so you'd have to do it a different way. Yeah. plan for him to turn right somehow, because that one's kind of hard to get without... Um, let's see, I, if I... Oh, I can come down from... Oh! <laughs> well, you get to try now. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Okay, if I go, I can let him out. I think that's the only way to do it. Sure. Um, but just stay out of the way. That's the trick, though. That is the trick. These are fine. We know how to do those. Oh, the, maybe the first one to get is a. Go above? No. As soon as I go above, it'll start chasing me that way. Because it'll turn right and go. I just need to dig out an area for this dude to start circling in. Go straight down. No, no, no. From the top, go straight down. Ooh. Or, or up and down now will work. Yeah. yeah. But now you're on a race. Fine oh, he's fine now. He's yeah. he's in a loop. He's contained. Yeah. Oh, and now. you can go all the way along the bottom there, uh, and then up and back. Yeah, because that guy'll yeah, start. Yeah, you go up, and then boom. Oh, okay. Yeah, because that guy's fine. Or even go to the top and then turn uh, left. Along here. No, no. I mean, you could go. You could go here and back, or you could go here and this way. Oh, I see. Yes, okay, I'll do that. Oh god, that opened up that guy because he turned right. Oh, turned right, yes. Uh, dumbness. Very dumbness. Wait, don't get that screw. Don't get this screw yet. That one? Okay. No, go, then you can come here and 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 without letting him out, you can go along here <laughs> and then up up here. You understand what I'm saying? You feel yeah. like here and up and then like that and over. That will let the top guy out. No, because he he he. He'll turn right when he comes back to the. He only if you release here, but here is right, so he won't go that way. You can clear up to there. Oh damn it! <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I, I accidentally died. Went down. Oh, I see. Ah! Uh... But it, when you did that, it changed the other guy. Into I have a, a mind. totally different loop. What I'm gonna do is just make a big area for them to just run around in. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my tactic next time. Is that when I let them out, they're not just following me around. They have a big area to to go around the outside in. 
they're being super annoying. No. <laughs> no. If you go up, that'll unleash the uh, top guy. Stuck in a new loop. Interesting. That guy. That kind of yeah. helps. Yeah, so <laughs> long as they don't disrupt that anymore. Yeah. And this guy right. Nope. Because then <laughs> he turned right there. Yeah. yeah. So you have to think about any time he gets to an end piece, he will turn right. Thinking it so far, they're not as complicated as we're making them. So, no, uh, I'm just gonna clear it out. But I want it to be a puzzle and not a dexterity game. Yeah, and the seems and you're like doing it you're be. making it into a dexterity situation here. Yes. Lots of oh, and now he's up there. <gasps> oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. I do like that. So you just need to get one screw loose. <laughs> Out you come. You just hang around with your buddy over there. Making lots of room so I don't get trapped. He turns right. So that should be good. Damn it. I went too far. I just let this guy out, and then just go get the screw. Yeah. Bye. There you go. Yeah. Okay, lots of pushing in this one. Lots of pushing. So let's just clear out stuff. Oh, I already pushed one. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, and you can't push them unless it is cleared out. So yeah. it is a good idea to actually clear everything out. Unless you don't want them to get pushed. Yeah, but if you don't want them to get pushed, you just don't push them. So. Yeah, but you might double. So you can push that one and get the screw down. Oh. That one's easy then. Now it's just this. This one has a lot of stuff. So if I just start. Yeah, that's easy. You just push the one down. Away. Go to the top. Yeah. Push that one. That one down. Yes. Oh. And then okay. the other one over and then you get it. Oh, that's not as hard as it looked. <laughs> Thought it was gonna be a lot more complicated. Now some actiony. Oh, that's just going across. I'm hoping it doesn't double move when you want a single move. Yes. Woo! Just an action level. Ooh, okay, this guy's gonna follow <laughs> every move. But you're safe in the center every time. 
if you can make it to the center. There you go. Nice. Oh, so many. They're all, all over the place. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's a bit of a gap there. Not really. Wow. Whoa, okay. They seem to catch up too. Like, some get stuck. Oh, yeah. Sorry, it was game over, right? Um, like, there's a big gap right now, but they get. Oh, there you go. They get stuck and there's no safe zone. Absolutely zero safe. You have to just keep chasing them as quick as possible. Because there's always one catching up. Crap. And as you clear them out, it gives them a space to get stuck in. Wait, there you go. There you go. One more. Oh, and you have to go around once more. Wow. So you go right after the first two, and then you just keep going and getting this group. After the first two. There you go. But I couldn't, as usual, maneuver. <laughs> oh, keep going, keep oh, going, keep going. Oh. In. Woo! Oh, yeah, this is one I saw in his video that he posted. Um, whoa, I don't understand the mechanics of those things. That... Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. Okay, I think you have to push those up to the top. Oh, and why are there fire coming down? It ran... That one was... Oh, it blocks the fire. Ah. Ah. Oh, and the bullets. Your your bullets are... Blocking it for... Blocking it, too. That's so actually a to... good thing. But Does you must need it? the bullets. Ah, that blocks it, too. Good. Okay. You must need the bullet for something. Yes. But I don't know what yet. Maybe it can... It must kill those. <laughs> or it stops them. Okay, I can't... Uh, but you it. have to push it to the side. And then up, and then over. You can only grasp down when you're there, right? Oh, okay. And then... I'm gonna try and shoot. Push the lightning bolt out. It doesn't. Okay. Push the lightning bolt out. Oh, oh but they move. So as soon as you move, they're going to move. Yeah, they'll kill you so fast. But what are the bullets for? I mean, they're effective at... Can you shoot those rocks at the top? That's... I'm thinking that, like... Are those bubbly things? I'm thinking you need the bullets to shoot... I, and those two rock things that you're talking about, those two in the center, I'm guessing that that's... Mm. The two in the center or the two beside them are different. Yeah. <clears throat> they are. So the bullets kill something. Either those two things on the side or all those rocks. I'm guessing it's the two things on the side. Uh-oh. Oh, Arena Foot. Welcome back, Arena Foot. Hi all, just saw the post for the show just now, just wondering what happened on the sh happened to the show on Friday. This is Friday's show. Friday? <laughs> this is Friday. Saturday is the new Friday. Don't you recognize <laughs> the days when you see them? I was just bogged down with work on Friday, so we postponed it to Saturday morning. Sorry about that. It's not a regular schedule <laughs> Friday thing. It's malleable. It's, it's But it usually is the Friday, yeah. but it just didn't work. Usually time. Friday at 2pm. It just didn't work this, this time, unfortunately. But there will always be a stream at some point in the week. And today, it's work in progress games. I want to see what the bullets do. No, I, was, gonna... I, I had the bullets. Do the bullets push them back at all? Oh, I thought it did at first. But I think it just oh, retreated. God. I think it just retreated. Because you weren't there anymore. For some reason. Ah! So crazy. They can't make it over here. It doesn't kill those bubbly... But it might things. kill one of the four things in the center. No. Nope. You have to drag those out of the way. Now fire that. Nope. Oh. 
Maybe you have to be closer? No. Does it hurt the fire at all? Yeah, the fire hurts you. I'm gonna sacrifice my life to try and figure out the game. That's what, did what the I did on my do? turn. It's, they, they seem to no. affect the claws a little bit. Like, it's, they seem to know. retreat. They, I don't they, know if they actually... Uh, I think you screwed up that. <laughs> Uh, or those have to get pushed out into those two slots. Spot the fire? No, for sure they go in the center. Like, it's giving you... Push it up to block the fire, see if that works. Okay. okay you guys come way over here. Way over... Oops. <laughs> it goes too fast when you're trying things out. Oh, I didn't even have it in the fire. The fire is on those rockets. So, oops. <laughs> I'm getting that one back. <laughs> oh, I was in the stupid spot, that's why. Suck on that, suck on it. <laughs> You'll just move. Oh, how about I go right into the fire? It's a good idea. Do that. Try, try go right into the fire. Oh, right into the fire. Hmm. Um, oh, that's what I was getting. No! Oh, you know... But there's no spaceship here. There's no... There's no goal. You know what? I think he said there were some bosses. This is a boss fight. Oh! You know what? Those lightning bolts need to go up into those empty blocks in the middle. Yeah. I always thought that. Yeah. Oh! You always thought that! This is the first I ever... You don't keep secrets! We're supposed to be on the same <laughs> side here! I thought that was a given. That was like, oh, yeah, you have to do that. No, no, there was no given. <laughs> no, you have one more. But, um, yeah, you have to put them up there. I think it, ah, what you have to do is draw the claws away. And then, okay. Oh, my God. Okay, get that over. Get that up as much as possible, draw the claws away, and in particular the claws can't move, there you yeah, go, there you go. Okay. the claws can't move past the fire when the fire is on, oh. Oh. do you know what I mean? When the fire is on, when yeah. the fire is on the claws can't move past, so sometimes you only draw one over because the fire is blocking the other one, Yeah. and so that's Thing that I think you should get the bullets right away, just to get them out of the way, because later on they're a pain in the ass. I'm telling you right now. Get those bullets. Oh, Arena Foot, I have no clue about the game either. I saw it in production in the forums and downloaded it, but never played it. It's very, very cool. As, as you can see, we've been playing this for like, I don't know how long. This game for about 45 minutes? Because every level is completely different. It's you have to learn new tactics. So you got the bullets. That's good. Okay, now you're safe in the middle. Draw them away to that side, and then push the right hand one all the way up. Oh, we have to be so fast. And then I would go to the right hand side to draw them over there, and then push the left one up. I don't know why they put give you bullets though. I don't know what the point of the bullets are. You probably need them later. Yeah. Oh, so close. Yeah, we push both of them up as far as you can. And then draw them away. Oops, I want to get these. <gasps> Just go that? to the side and did you see that? Up. No, what happened? It destroyed it. What did? You know what? Maybe that's how you destroy the claws. There's I fucked it up. <laughs> how do you destroy the claws? Oh. Um, by timing the destruction of the claw with the fire hitting that no, light. They can't go where the thing is when the fire's there. But if I put it right beside. Or maybe you push it up to the top. <laughs> maybe we should just stick to that tactic right now. 
Stage C8, where's stage A1? Uh, well, we're on stage C. <laughs> We've done A1 through 8, and then B1 through 8, now we're on C8. So there's eight stages every letter. Oops, I draw them all the way over. Gives, gives you way more time. But you can't shoot anything. I don't understand the bullets yet. Point of the bullets. Oh, no, I'm... Okay. Oh, you're still fine. Okay. Grabby, grabby claw. <laughs> Why is my turn so short? <laughs> Safe. Safe. So what you need to do is draw one of the draw go over to the side so you get one of the claws behind the fire. And yeah. then you can come over and push up the one and and you also have to draw the claw down. Because if it's up too high, when you push the thing uh, in, it oh, immediately pops over and gets you. Yes. That's what got me. That's right. So we tell it's a crossfire. And now... And then... Yeah. Tease it out a bit. Yeah. Yeah. And uh -huh. if you couldn't... If it's... When it's... Yeah, okay. I understand what you're saying. Because it can't move over when it's going down. It has to wait till it comes back up. It gives you extra time. This is what modern homebrews need, these, these tactics. It's not just shooting something. Shoot, shoot, shoot. It it's, has levels of complexity to it. So now you're completely safe behind those things. You can get them right to the top. Grab, grab, grab. That's perfect. You, as you... Oh, damn, it's so close. Because as you run across, they both go down. Yeah, and you have to, you want them, to, you want to wait until they come far enough down that it gives you time to get up there and push the thing in. Which I did, but then I screwed up and ran into the, the unsafe zone because I'm not very good at it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, push one. Oh, damn it. Gives you gives you lots of time when you get them all the way over and then pass by them. And down. Yeah. If you do it right. <laughs> what other titles did we play? We played Aardvark and Plague, because today is work in progress today. Where we pay homage to the people that are still working on the games. Ah! Dumb. There we go. Okay, one of them. Over. Oh, now I've <laughs> don't want to do that. <laughs> or that. God. I just go up here and then run across and get the bullet. Uh, um, and the last title we're going to play is the Gizzle Wap no! and the Terrible Blizzard of Fern. That's one title. Don't let the end fool you. And all these games are destined to be put on cart uh, at Atari age because I've seen Al... Um, wow, that was risky. But hey, why not? Ah, that's how you do it. Okay, okay, that's what you meant. 
<laughs> You're like, I always forget about the fire, right? Oh, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> to shoot. <laughs> now, now you have to shoot those eyeballs. Now it bombs as well. I yeah, maybe, I don't know what you can use them for. I didn't no. do anything. You have to push the bombs into the eyeballs. Okay. Okay. Same tactic. But, will they explode when the claws hit them? I know they'll explode when the Flames fire hit hits them. them. No, you just have to push the one into the eyeball first. Or okay. Up. Yeah, that's true. Now nope. you shoot it. Ah! I'm not going to do it just yet because I have a lot of leeway now because <laughs> they're stuck. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll uh, defeat the clock here. And there's yes! your ship. Yes! All right. Team Get your ship. Quick, quick, before it goes away! <laughs> D1. Okay. Oh, it looks like a puzzle. I like puzzles. <laughs> With one shooter, one shot guy. Mm. Yeah, but he's only one. But he will cause a chain reaction. Cause a chain reaction. Um, but you don't need to. You just go up there, push that, that up, get the screw, and then push a bomb down. Oh, you do need a chain reaction. You need the chain reaction to free the ship. To free the ship. But I just push the bomb down. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Even closer. There. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I have to push. Because that bomb, bomb won't hit yeah, that yeah, bomb. Yeah, yeah, you have to use all those bombs. Yeah, it's easy. They're, they're not even hard to get. I'm move those out of the way. These are just. Uh, I have to get one. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Put this one here. Yeah. And then one more. It's going to be. Over here. I almost screwed that up. Yeah. Can I give you an extra. Oh, you have to do that one. Yeah. There. There you go. Now. Don't get don't killed get shot. by the shot. Push and run. It's pretty slow, though. And stay out of the way. Whoa, that's not even a chain reaction. It's like instant. Yeah. When should we stop playing this game is more the question. <laughs> Because we have one more game to go. We should go to the other game. Yeah. Because we made it to D1. That's it's pretty good. Like, yeah. that's a, a good cutoff because yeah. you, when you start the game, you can pick only A1, B1, C1, D1. As far as I know. Yeah. Unless it's a good spot. Unless he's changed it. Absolutely. I'll just go to my ship and be done. So, okay. I don't think... I don't think we need to tell you that we like this one a lot. <laughs> and we will probably play it again and finish it. Because it's really awesome. It's pretty good. I mean, apart from when it sucks because it's so hard. <laughs> but not too hard that it's like, I give up. It's just hard that I know what I need to do. It's just, I need to do it properly. So, like, A++++ plus 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 definite insta-buy. Insta-buy. Okay, so let's go to the next game, which I'm playing off my Harmony Kart. Interesting puzzle game. It is amazing. Amazing. And yeah, the music really doesn't get tiresome. Like, it's still, like, decent after a while. Um, That's true. So I do own the first... Oh, yes, thank you. I need that. <laughs> I've got a switch. Game four. Um, I had to scrounge and find all these <laughs> graphics and, and manipulate some of them because they don't have covers, a lot of them. 
because they're just um, they're just games in progress. Ah. So I do have the first version. This is like a sequel. Oh. Gizzle Wap and the Terrible Blizzard of Fern. Wow, nice animated intro here. 2018. So the first one was called... Let's get it out here. Oh, we'll be playing oh, oops. this one later at some point. Uh-oh. I suspect that those <laughs> are not to be trifled with. No. So this is the first game. Gizawap and the Strange Red Tree. Oh, yeah, a little too one. close. This, this one. There we go. Yeah, so that's the first one. I have barely played that. I've only played it... I haven't played it on the cartridge, so I've only played the demo. Oh, a version. doggy just got hit by a giant snowball and died. Oh. Sorry, it was very upsetting. And it was really complex, and I didn't understand it, but I didn't read the rules yet, so... <laughs> we're going to... Play the sequel before we play the original. <laughs> but I do have some rules for this one, but we're just going to dive in. Run, doggy, no! You're out of sync. Don't tell us that. I thought I fixed all this. You're still out of sync? Anyway. Fix that in post, I guess. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'll figure it out one day. So, your turn first. And this no! Oh, I thought that bird was going to eat me. He's your friend. Wow. Uh, it's your boss. Ah! Oh, it's a scrolling. The other one was not scrolling. The other one was a static screen. Um, so this one, this game is made by Jeff Smith, uh, a.k.a. Mountain King on the Atari Age forums. I you must want to look him up there. Oh. Okay, you can jump. It's a little birdhouse. Oh, you need to get him in the birdhouse? I don't know. No, doesn't want to go in the birdhouse. You can kind of dig out the snow a bit. <laughs> One piece of snow at a time you can dig out a little bit. Oh, it's clouds I see. and a moon. It's just that I thought, it was, I thought it was coming towards me, but I was moving, scrolling along the screen. Oh. Oh. <laughs> The confusion of scrolling. And this game doesn't use a play field to scroll, so it's very, very smooth scrolling. Oh, tree, tree was there. Oh, it's a little green. A little ice patch. Mm -hmm. uh, there's clouds and moon. A lot of snow. Stop jumping. <laughs> Why? <laughs> You don't I know. <laughs> I might have been winning because of the jumping. Is, See, the time is going down. Is it time? And when you stop, the bird comes down. Yeah. Oh, that's a different tree. Ooh, there's lots of... No, still out of sync. <laughs> Hooray! Huzzah! So don't look at our faces, just listen to our voice. Oh, it just went down. Yeah, that's when you press the button. It does that. Okay. Are you at the end? No. No. So something to do with a bird. Maybe try and get the bird to land in various trees. No. And the moon is moving. You've got two bars on the bottom. And one of them is almost out. Yeah, one of them's almost out. Oh, it's this the sky's getting clear. Oh, it's nighttime now. Was it nighttime before? Yeah, but it was okay. a bit cloudier uh, before. And it's all black. I'm going to read the instructions. I think <laughs> instructions might be required because <laughs> nothing is trying to kill me except perhaps time. <laughs> oh, my bird turned blue. Oh. That's not good. I think that has something to do with the bar at the bottom. Yeah. Maybe you needed to give him something. He needed something. He needs to land on your head for a little while. The Gizzlewap and the Terrible Blizzard of Fern. 25th day of the 12th oh, phase. What's happening? Oh, your bird died. Well, what is it? Your bird needed something that you did not give it. Sometimes games need to have 
the rules explained to them. Here, you read it out. <sighs> I'll start jumping. The Gizawap and the Terrible Blizzard of Fern. 25th day of the 12th phase of the 18th fade of the constellation of Stonefish of the Halamas Zodiac. December 25th, 2018. The Gizawap and the Terrible Blizzard of Fern. Something. It says that again. What? What'd you do? I don't know. I, I dug and jump, and then a thing with a red thing appeared to the left, and I touched it, and it brought my bar back up to full. But keep reading. Like this. <laughs> the, the feast of Salubria has been cut short by a tremendous blizzard, trapping those unfortunate enough to be caught outside under a blanket of heavy snow. Uh huh. The Council of Sundra called for anyone willing to brave the elements and rescue the survivors. Okay. Only two volunteered. The Gizawap defender of Juthanian Woods and that's the us. Maum Maum. I guess that's the bird. <laughs> Watcher of the southern shores. The Gizawap offered his ability to dig in the snow and the Maum Maum his keen eyesight. Together they would set up a safe house and search the land, bringing anyone they found back to the base. Oh, okay. brave Gizzlewap and the noble Mom Mom. You do not understand the severity of this storm. <laughs> the cold and, and fern vortices will be too much for a shorebird and small creature of the wood. You will not survive through the night. Then we have no time to waste. We must do what we can. We must do what we can during the sun's light. That's the preamble. Okay. That's all of the story behind the game. Now it's gameplay. You control the Gizawap and the Maum Maum searching for survivors. You can move the Gizawap left and right, and yep. the Maum Maum will follow. Okay. Press the joystick up to make the Gizawap jump, and the Maum Maum will flap. Press the fire button to dig in the snow. Okay. When you have a salubrious stone, you can pull down on the joystick to activate its ability. Oh, stone. I haven't seen a stone yet. I've got. I've been digging. Well, you just found a... a, a Little leaf. Branch leaf. Yeah, I've been digging at leaf. every tree, and there's something at every tree. Like, there's another mm -hmm. little... Oh, I didn't get it. And sometimes the bird flies to it and, yeah. and touches it. Uh, scan the area while avoiding fern vortices and listen for the Mau Mau to sing. Tura Lura Lu. And dig where he sings. Something will be buried there. Note, the Mau Mau will not sing if he is too high in the air oh. or too low to the ground. Oh. You must find that sweet spot in between. Oh. <gasps> so you have to move slowly? Yeah. When you unearth a creature, you will need to deal with it accordingly. See oh. bestiary. The ones that need rescuing, the, the mama will carry to off to safety. Others you might need to rebury. <laughs> okay. I just Re found a guy. He sang. Mm -hmm. I dug. I found a guy. He was running off. I caught him. The bird carried him off. Yeah. Rescue enough creatures and you will see a star in the sky. A paladin will drop a map. Pick up the map and it will lead you to the boss. Pay close attention to your life bars. The Mau Mau's life is on the left. Yes, that's when that died. Uh. And Gizzlewaps is on the right. If either of them reach zero, the game will be over. How do you... Die? <laughs> how, do you, how do they go down? Uh, I think the birdie... Maybe if he's flying too high, he gets cold or something. I don't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, wait. Well, I will read the instructions, and they will tell us. Uh, if it takes you long and the day turns to night, the pair will take extra damage until one or the other expires. To replenish your health, you must forage for food. Oh, Fortunately, one I'm of finding. the customs of the Feast of Salubria is to bury food and gifts under trees. <laughs> Dig at the base of a tree to unearth the gift. Not all trees will have things buried there. Defeat the boss and move on to the next day. The riddle of the phrase. Each bot you, boss you defeat will leave a clue to the riddle. There are seven clues. The last one can be seen in the sky. That is all I have to say about that. Okay. I just found a survivor. This is a pretty good graphic of a, a woman walking. Oh, yep, another woman. Oh, I think I... No, still going. Need food for my bird. My bird is gonna die. Oh, tree. There we go. Birdie, get the. F I have to pick up the food in time. Okay. That's not Bird. good. Birdie's gonna die. Nothing there. 
Uh, you have to touch everything for the bird to activate. Like uh -huh. the food and the things, the rescue creatures. But the bird's going to die soon because I haven't been giving it the food. I haven't Move been touching quicker. the food. Well, oh, missed that survivor. I think I just need to get... <laughs> oh, birdie died. Oh. Why did you kill birdie like that? So we've figured out a couple things. We haven't found a boss or anything yet. So you have to get the bird flying. There you go. Oh, no. There you go. That's how you do it. Very nice graphics. Not a high action game. <laughs> kind of more of a relaxed game. No. What do you mean no? Why do you <laughs> say that? No. This is hurtful. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. I found it very hard to dig up where it's singing if you go past it and go back it doesn't seem to be there you have to do it like immediately is the food for you too there, go get it touch it touch it oh got away you can go back and scan the area again Bostow says did you get food there no there was nothing Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing for my valiant and sometimes. So maybe you eat, eat the food. Oh, he says you can go back and scan it. So if you, but he has to be flying for it to do the song in the flying up a little bit, like in the middle there. No. But if you go back, uh, he doesn't fly until you get to the front. Mmm. I don't. I have no interest in rescuing people. <laughs> like if they want to, if they want to be like that, then they can stay buried and dead. <laughs> what is that? What? I dug immediately. No. <laughs> no, that's that's bitterness in my voice. I'm bitter. It's too <laughs> I late now. Yeah. I don't know why the digging isn't working very well for you. Well, the bird didn't get any food that time. No, he hasn't gotten any for a while. It's all. I think he me. eats the branches, and you eat the pies. Yeah. Or Too the, many pies. <laughs> Too many pies, not enough branches. And also, I keep seeing trees, but then they disappear. Yeah. Glitchy. A little glitchy. Uh, there you go. Like a, That person can walk on their own. They're fine. Oh. It's the little creatures that need to be carried off. I guess you're just digging them out. More um, oh, sausages. No, thank that's you. That's not good. Your birdie needs food badly. Yeah. There you go. Oh, right there to fall. Oh, okay. That's not too bad then. I thought it just replenished a little bit. That's free. Oh, what is that? It's a present. Did it say anything about... Because now there's a symbol there. Is that yeah, the rock? You... I don't know what that is. Uh, let's see... Something about a rock. Oh, yo, the fights. No, I don't see it now anymore. I think you made it up. I, I made what? <laughs> I think you made it up because I don't remember saying anything about a rock. No. Maybe I did, but I don't remember it. It's like you need to use the rock to do the do this. Rescue enough creatures, you'll see a star in the sky. So we haven't rescued enough creatures. Oh, 
Oh. Close. <laughs> nah, they buried. Does he have to be singing while you dig? Yeah, I that, see. That might be part of part of the thing. Yay, creature! Thing. We've done our job. We've saved a single creature. <laughs> Is that the first creature? No, we've got another creature, I think. Okay. Maybe not. No, just humans. Just humans, okay. But you've got this little symbol. Do you know if he has to be singing? Oh, your bird is dead. What? <laughs> Not enough bird food. Oh, because it got colder, so he was dying quicker. Actually, I shouldn't bother getting food right away. I should just go for the rescuing. He's a pretty slow go doing this canning. animation actually it's a good doggy good doggy carried him away so that's one doesn't say how many creatures you have to rescue you gonna dig no i have pretty good health i need to find these creatures yeah you remember that when your birdie is cold <laughs> and dead <laughs> that you didn't feed him and he's blue on the ground get the pig upside down <laughs> it's a pig it's kind of jumping. It's kind of a bouncy ball creature. Yeah, that's from the front, though. It could be a hippopotamus or a pig. Okay. Mini hippo. Yep. Thank God. See, my health's still pretty good. So what is the reasoning behind not even bothering, though? Is it to waste time? Yeah, that I could be trying to rescue. You have to be selfless in this game. They're not, they're not real. They're not real creatures. That was a green blob creature. <laughs> It was so, it didn't even hop away, it was so helpless. It was like, please, I'm stuck in the snow. Why did I go out in the terrible snow when I knew I would die? I don't get why the what? doggies, what? Uh, I don't know, like, why are they running away from you? Yeah. They're like, ah, you've rescued me, you must be the worst. <laughs> They're scared. There we go. Yeah, the dog didn't, like. I think you had to rebury that one. <laughs> So it said, sometimes you have to rebury them. What? I don't know what that meant. That's funny. I think I need a little bit of food now. There, birdie. Oh, what? He didn't even eat it. I touched it. Oh. Bird. I'm trying to feed you here. Oh. Up. Get up. Okay, you can walk on your own. You need food very badly now. Come on, let's just boot it to the tree. What? This is why you don't wait until you're <laughs> hungry to eat. <laughs> That's for me, so I'm fine now, but... Bird is on its last bar. Oh, no! No, the bird is going to turn blue in mere seconds. I need a, no, I don't need a green lake. I don't need that. Oh, he's dead. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Stay up in the sky. Stay up. Stay you got to move to keep him up in the sky. There's a star. I don't, he need, he There's needs, a star. He needs food really badly. Yeah. Not that kind of food. Where's the star? Did it disappear? Right in the middle of the... Oh, okay, good. I assume that's the star. Mm. Your bird might be the blue bird. The bird is gonna die. I'm hacking the game. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> he just crashed to the ground. I thought I could keep him up in the sky. Actually, probably as soon as he hits the ground, it's over. Even if he is blue. 
So yes, I should not have neglected my bird so long. I guess that's the start. So you never see that kind of tree again. Yeah, that's where the bird lives. It's his house. Nom, 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 nom. Great birdie. Somebody loves you. <laughs> Not James. No. James doesn't love you. He's like, work, bird, work! Find the... Feel, feel <laughs> the sting of my whip! Dig in the snow. Actually, I dig in the snow. But he has to carry them off. I don't know if those ones uh, do anything. It was a branch, it was bird food, but you didn't get it to it in time. I guess you move slow enough that why not stop at every tree? Yay! It's the, a green poop! <laughs> the green poop has been rescued. Doesn't say which ones you have to rebury. Maybe the green poop needs to be reburied. Oh, that one put both of you up. Oh, I don't know what it was. A bowl of red uh, muck. Bowl of red muck. It's a bowl. Get back here, you little <laughs> pink thing. <laughs> For you are not worth... Oh, you are worth 300, points. 300 points. 300 points. Wigs turn back time? What? Come on, Dougie! Woo! So twigs You're are worth bad? points! 300 points, Dougie. 300 points. Vosto, what do you mean twigs turn back time? They make it. It's bad? They're not good food? They're good because um, it means that it doesn't stay as dark, maybe? Oh. Okay. Well, they're good to get. Are they good or bad? We just need to know if they're good or bad. How much hatred and contempt do we show for twigs? <laughs> yes. How much should we t get or not get the twigs? Is turning back time a good thing or a bad thing? Does it unrescue people? Or is it just like... Go, lady, go! I was get points for that. 100 points for the people. Because they're not as much effort, you don't have to carry them. See, there's a they star in the sky. Oh, okay. And what did it say? I can't remember. You have to get it? Go get the bird uh, to get the star. Or you can't get up that high? No. Let's see what it said. The game. Um, rescue enough creatures, you'll see a star in the sky. A paladin will drop a map. No maps yet. Pick up the map and it will lead you to the boss. Okay, well, there has been no maps. Uh, so, we will just keep waiting. The game is timed. Oh, is one of those time? The moon, maybe? Oh, the moon! Okay, we'll watch the moon next time. Yeah, the It's moon been moving be. uh, across... Okay. Oh, you're only worth 100 points and you <laughs> waste my time. <laughs> oh, there's a the map. Get the map. Oh, it says go to the right. Must find... Follow the star. See the stars at the front now. Oh, okay. Come on, piggy. <laughs> Jumping piggy. Let it not be said that Piggy was not I think you can get this. Oh, the bird can't get the star. Oh, good. Still, everybody's healthy. The moon is moving very fast. Well, is oh there a way... God. Do we have to press something to move on with that arrow, or...? Oh, what's this? This is not Nothing. Okay. It's not a very good tree. Up to 1900. Up to 1900. What's up to 1900? Oh, there it is. Go get the star. Okay, boss. Kill the boss. Fly your bird. Jump over him when he's at the bottom and get the bird to attack him. Good. You got it. Yeah. Kill right. him. Get it. 
What do you mean get it? I can't move. Did we win? 7,900 points. Oh. All right. That was... Oh, God. What is this? This is the level in which I die. Oh, it brings your bird down. And, and hurts you. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. So that fun. increases the difficulty by a factor of 10. <laughs> like... Oh, it doesn't seem to hurt you that much. It does delay you. It doesn't... My points you. are going up or down? Uh, not at all. It doesn't hurt your points. Now he's... Now you've got that thing. I don't know what that thing is. Is that the rock? Why are the boulders going all over the place? <laughs> Madness and craziness and... Turn back time! Yes! Almost. Almost. <laughs> Rescue the green poop. That thing makes it more annoying. Oh, I don't know if it takes you down in health. Maybe a tiny bit? Oh, oh your points are going down. I know, because... Why? I don't know. Something to do with that woman? You were touching her? I don't or know why. At least the thing is gone from the sky. <laughs> That's a helpful thing. <clears throat> 7,900! Yes! Don't know why the points went down. <clears throat> oh, oh, it's back. <laughs> the hatred of all that is good and right in the world. <laughs> oh. Get it. Get the piggy. Eat your that points, piggy. Your points went down. And then they went up all of a sudden. Well, they went is, down. Why are they going down? For standing still, and then you get the points <laughs> when the bird... Because you don't get the points for the pig until the bird gets back to you. Mm. Hmm. Can't dig. Oh. No. Give it up. <clears throat> Stop hurting my bird, you stupid. <clears throat> I don't really know what you're supposed to do about it. Avoid it, I guess. Turn back time. It didn't move the moon. <clears throat> you got the twig. <clears throat> Twig, nope, did not move the moon back at all. And didn't feed either of you. But maybe we could... Oh, pull uh, it down to use the shield. Pull That's it. right, it was in the instructions. You've got a shield now. When the, uh, when that thing's coming at you. Uh -huh. Oh, here it is. There you go. I don't know how effective that is. Yay! Oh, you got Oh, the shield's gone. Oh. <laughs> that lasted a little bit. Oh, good. He needed right. that. He needed that. Need to rescue some more animals. Get those animals. Nom 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 nom. I'm not an aminol. Ah, peep! <laughs> ah. Oh, the sky's clearing up a little bit. About halfway through the day. Need to rescue some things. There haven't been very many, have there? Oh. Yay. We got you, green poop. We got you. Yay! Oh, the star's there now. <clears throat> Just need a couple more animals. And then the map will drop. Good, more food. Stupid. See, the money goes down. down when the lady is walking away. And then it goes up. And then it goes up. 
But you lost pretty much almost all the points. Why does it say the arrow this way? Oh, and there's a bar. That was, <clears throat> I think, a glitch. The star is there. <clears throat> oh, yeah, it, it was a glitchy star. <laughs> it was a long star. It's a trail of the star. So the, the arrow and the star tell you which direction to go. So was I going the wrong way just the keep, whole time? Just or book what? it. Just book it to the map. But I haven't got a map yet. It'll drop. Oh! No, you have. You must, I have, must got have got the map. I must have picked up the map. If I and just didn't see notice. it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I would get some of the food. Oh, but I've dug all these trees. Uh, they probably reset. Or people have put more, uh, there you go, more presents back end under them. <laughs> You need your strength for the boss. The boss is coming. Oh, look at that. The moon is a half moon now. Oh, the, the, yeah, the arrow's still there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's rapidly approaching. End of the day. Oh, it moves so fast. Sometimes it stops, but and then sometimes it just books it. Gotta be close. Look at it go! That moon is not very even moving. Oh, it's almost at the end. Goodness. Health is going way down now. Oh, there it is! Oh! Oh! You got yeah. that close. To what? What, is, what was there? I think the moon... You didn't die... You, you didn't run out of health. No. Because you were pretty much full, but the moon got to the end. Ah. Uh. No, I think I've seen all I need to see yep. in this game. It's kind of a laid-back game. It's a little bit more relaxed. It's not a high-action game. Mm -hmm. As you can see, because my turn didn't immediately end. <laughs> you lasted Second like, after it started. You made it past the first level and almost made it to this, the boss in the second level. Very good graphics. Good music at the intro. Mm -hmm. uh, very good animation. Um, not high action, yeah, not super challenging, fairly easy, what's going on there? Oh my god. <laughs> I know, that's what happened to the doggy. I was like, ah, and I interrupted you at the, I was horrified by the death of the doggy. Hor horrifying. Um, yeah, so really nice title screen. I think it might be fun for people who don't want, like, a super hard challenging game just something that's you know more relaxing laid back just drift through the game at points there's like oh, it missed the dog it, it's it i know that's why i whistled <sighs> doggy made it um so not too bad i don't know how much i would play it um probably when it i mean i'll probably buy it when it comes out um see if there's any changes. I think this might be the final because this was released quite a while ago, this work in progress. Um, but I'll probably still buy it, see if anything has changed, see how far I can make it. It is a very nice game. And I do have the first one as well. I'll have to play that. We'll have to play that one next time. It is very different when mm. I briefly played it. It is like a lot more high action. There's like things going all over the place. I had no clue what was going on. Just kind of like this, like what is happening why do we do this so let's go over the games again we had aardvark which unfortunately was cut a little bit glitchy um on the newest version difficulties technical difficulties when you died yeah which made which, it which hindered it which gave you a a death chain reaction <laughs> it was pretty much you had one life <laughs> and the rest were like maybe lives maybe lives yes they were a roll uh, of the dice but I believe that one's still a little bit in progress. It was demoed at Portland Retro Gaming Expo uh, last, uh, late last year. So that one is, they're all coming out on cartridge for, for, for sure through Atari Age. That one was fun. Um, it'll be good to play. Hopefully it's not glitchy when it's on cartridge, but it's not out yet. So maybe there's a chance to fix it if he sees this video. Um, Plague, um, very cool. Ooh, kill the dog. Very challenging plague. Very, very challenging. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
very cool. Lots of different screens. Yep. Every, um, every screen was unique and uh, challenging. Well, some of them weren't challenging, <laughs> but I like those ones. The, <laughs> the one with no death screens. <laughs> The ones that talked about how hopeless and, and uh, death riddled the world was and uh, were those where you And we did progress. Respite. It did take a while to figure out the really hard ones, but eventually got past them. So I would definitely play that one again to try and get further and further. But it's so unforgiving. Yep. Especially in the dark. <laughs> when you're trying to get past the dark. The dark yeah. screens. What you need to do is just jump around <laughs> and have a video camera that catches all of it and then you just map it together and piece it together and then you can Overlay see it on the screen. screen. Yeah. <laughs> then you'll know what's there. And you know exactly what's happening. Mm -hmm. Um Robo Mechanic. Oh my god. Really good, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, really Amazing. Like that one. Highly recommended. A plus plus. I will buy three copies <laughs> when it comes out. Give them to all my friends. No. I'll buy one copy and and finish the game. Actually, we'll probably finish the game before it comes out on, on cartridge. But actually, it's not done yet. All the levels aren't done. So uh, we'll probably run into some dead levels. I don't know. But we'll play it till it... They said that that one was released today. Uh, not on cartridge. Oh, like I the, see. Yeah, the yeah. new demo, the work in progress, is released today. Oh, okay. Um... And then this one, we already discussed this one. So, great games. Top of the day, Robo Mechanic. For sure. For yep. sure. Awesome yep. game. Good job, Chris Joff, Luke Zek. Very difficult name to pronounce. <laughs> Might not be that hard to pronounce, but it's hard to know how to pronounce it that's, from the way that it's uh, spelled. And... That's right. Once I hear it, I could probably pronounce it. So, thank you for joining us. Yeah. Once again, uh, it was I realized I had to go back into slouch mode so that <laughs> not taking up the full screen. Uh, so hope maybe we'll play. Actually, next Friday we won't be playing for sure. Yeah, it won't be because uh, well, I will won't be here, or I I don't know. I'll be here. I will actually be here, but, but I don't it know will how be early. for another thing. Yeah. So and I will be at the other thing too. <laughs> the same other thing. <laughs> yes. yes. I think it starts Which at Which must not be named. I think it starts at noon. Yeah, it does. So we won't be here. I'll probably do a midweek one with Tanya. We uh, could do one with... No, we couldn't. Because, no, we couldn't. Never mind. <laughs> Take it back. We cannot no. do one in the manner that I was going to suggest. It would just never Else, wherever Elsewhere? Work. Yes, it was just uh, nonsense. Absolute nonsense suggestion. I take it back! I apologize! <laughs> Please forgive me! It would take a lot of equipment transportation. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wouldn't yeah. work as well. Um, but we'll do a midweek one, maybe Wednesday or Thursday. Um, and I'll announce it. And we'll be playing some new games off of Cartridge again. Probably the Gizawap and the Strange Red Tree. Don't know. Don't know which ones I'll pick. Um, but thank you for joining us. You can check this out later on YouTube, where all the audio is aligned. <laughs> or I try to align it. And it <laughs> Aligned-ish. It might have been thrown off by the aardvark. I don't know. I, I just don't know what is happening with the misalignment of the audio. Yeah, I've tried weird. everything. And some days it's like perfect, I think, for Tanya. The one I did with Tanya, it was dead on. I didn't have to touch it. I don't know. I'll keep at it. Tanya, it's uh, always showing me up. Um, but thank you for all the people that were in the Twitch stream chat. Uh, people that are still there, Vosto. Thank and you to the people that are still there as well. <laughs> Rena Foot, thank you to everybody that was there, that was there, that is there, that ever was there. And uh, we'll see you next time on Zero Page Homebrew. Bye-bye. That was the anticlimactic part where we haven't left yet. <laughs> where we go and turn we off said bye. the stream. Bye-bye. Right.